Hi guys and welcome to your August 2019. What aren't they telling you? This is going to be for the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun is here. Hello, Cancerians. Um, in a time-saving effort, I have already went ahead and got your main energies, your Romance Angel Oracle cards for the main energies, the bottom of the deck, and a peek at the past. Um, cancer crowning this particular reading is romantic feelings and no matter what happens between you guys and it looks like there's some pull and some some push okay spirit push and pull going on Ugh, sorry guys it looks like there's some push and some pull some tug of war that you guys are playing no matter what your partner um continues to keep an open mind um, this was a little similar to only this portion to the Taurus video. So if some of you guys, uh, cancers are connecting with Taurus or maybe you have Taurus in your chart, um, go, I advise you to go and watch. I really advise you guys to watch your sun, moon, rising and Venus. If you would like, and just tie all of the messages together. I haven't told you guys that in such a long time, but okay, spirit. Thank you. Ooh, okay. This cancer energy. So um, I'm feeling like your person is um, definitely, you know what? And it was funny because um, let your friends help you is also what Taurus got. So again, if you are a Cancer sun, you may have Taurus in your rising and your moon and your Venus, um, or you're connecting with the Taurus. Um, it's very similar to that with the little twist. So just that portion of, your partner being completely unwavering when it comes down to their feelings for you. And to them, that's all that matters right now. And they're continuing to keep an open mind. Okay. Um, and I feel like they've been discussing you guys' relationship with their friends. Don't be surprised, Cancer, if you get hit with this. I told Taurus the same thing. Um, but they have been discussing how they feel and they're keeping an open mind about some things. I won't get into the bottom of the deck energy yet. A peek at the past is there's been some pushing some pull in between you guys. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle one more time, Cancerians. Give me a second and I apologize for the banging. Um, but there has been an, uh, I'm really surprised that religious factors did not come back out. Universe, spirit, angels, and my gods, thank you. Yes, 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 we have the moon. Cancer on cancer, that's Piscean energy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Show me, spirit. <clears throat> Universe, thank you. Universe, oh, okay. Okay, thank you, Ace of Cups. Um, wow. Wow. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and let me know. Give me the energy that surrounds cancer and their partner. Thank you. I've seen this page in the pre-shuffle. I've been seeing this page all day long. Woo! Talk to me. Okay. All right, spirit. Yeah. Defensiveness between you guys is tense. Yes. Give me the card, the last card. What isn't Cancer's partner telling them? Listen, they're, they don't want to tell you. And whenever making the effort and trust is here, I'm going to get into this bottom, this peak at the past. Give me this last card, Spirit, please. Just give it to me. Um, I'm telling you now, Cancers, listen. <clears throat> These feelings are a bit beyond romantic, Okay. A bit beyond romantic. I'm just going to take off the top. I can't anymore. My hands are killing me. That is the higher font. Taurus energy. Do you see how that just happened? Yeah. Some of you guys got some Taurus somewhere. You got some Taurus. Some strong Taurus somewhere. Well, I got good news for you. I got good news. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, Cancer. So a peek at the past was is make the effort, trust, and release your ex.
Okay. Okay, I feel this hair is killing it. It really is killing it. Okay, clarifying this energy is Scorpion energy with the Death card. More Taurus Venusian energy with the Empress. My God. There is Taurus all up and through here. You let me know. And then we got the five. So there's petty arguments, petty fighting. Um, and that was what caused the mistrust. Okay. There is a difference in how someone moves. And uh, Cancer, um, they have know that there may be some trust issues that you have with them. But they themselves have, have trust issues, which cause some petty arguments between you guys in the past, okay? Um, I think they've been telling you that they really want you to release your ex and get the, that energy of the ex off of you. Now, this is crazy, but some of you guys' this ex is a Scorpio, or they just want you to transform out of that energy, okay? Transform out of that energy. And then there's something with making the effort sexually, no, that's weird. There's something that this imp that that your partner feels like you should do when it comes down to this empress energy. Now the empress, come on now, that's that's good. That you know that's a new beginning. That's the birth of something. She's pregnant. You let me know, Cancer, when it comes to this Libra and Taurus root. Okay, so a peek at the past. It was a tension. There was things that you guys were transforming, getting to know one another possibly in the past six months for that past. And um, there was some transformations that needed to take place. This is just like Taurus. And it caused some friction. They felt like you needed to let go. Did I show you the cancer card? Cancer. So, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I hope I said that already because I just drew a blank. Okay. So they feel like you needed to make some effort to move out of your comfort zone due to the conditioning that the ex put there with trust. There are some things that you did that you were comfortable in and they would have liked cancer to see that, but it's not a real big deal again. When I see this, that's petty arguments and fights, petty friction. So there's been little bitty pettiness going back and forth between you guys. Um, and again, they have very romantic, strong fellas about you. But um, let's get into it. Fluctuating emotions, but not wavering away from way, how they feel. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is them not wanting to let you know either that they are in love with you. Oh, hell no. You're dealing with an energy that they don't want to let you know. And the crazy part is, is that they have the nerve to get defensive about this cup. They are protecting that cup, baby. They don't want you to know about this cup. Now, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Look at that. As much as they love you, this is what they offer you. Now, don't get me wrong. The king of pentacles is at the bottom. But I got something to say about this. So, Cancer, you are dealing with, it's been some deep readings. Okay, so you're dealing with a person who has a very page, childlike delivery. Communication could be in detriment. Um, Sagittarius, I see fire. Pisces, in detriment. Mercury is in detriment. So, uh, so when it comes down to saying, I am in love with you, you're not going to get that. You're going to get pagey type... <laughs> Pagey, page type messages, very practical, doing things for you, showing you little bitty baby steps. Let's go for a cup of coffee. Let's go here. Let's go there. But let me show you something. If I show you this Ace of Cups and the hair font, you let me know, okay? 
Now, I haven't even given you your bottom of the deck yet. Oh, it's about to get real bald head now. Check it out. They're not letting you know that they want to marry you. They are very defensive and they got some things that they want to work through. Okay. They're not telling you that. They're not telling you. They know that they need to. This is in the bottom, heart to heart conversations. There's the honeymoon card and let go of control issues. This person has a hard time accepting responsibility. I'm just going to let you know. Why? Because I see the contradiction. Why do I say that? Why did I make that assumption? Well, they have the moon energy, which means that they fluctuate in and out of comfortability. One day I'm comfortable, the next day I'm not. I feel like this is mutable energy that you're dealing with here. Also, I see this beautiful Ace of Cups, but it is surrounded around a small page. However, at the bottom of the deck energy, we have this page of uh, this king of pentacles and we have justice here and we have the hair font here and we have honeymoon here so they want to get married they want to get married but there are certain parts that they are not ready to let you know okay I don't know why cancer. I can't make it make sense to you. Um, I know that there is some Piscean energy here. You may be connecting with water. You let me know. Um, the good news is, is that they know that their inability to be comfortable with their, in their own skin and be comfortable with this particular relationship is causing a problem. They may still tell you that you need to let go of control issues. Absolutely. But how I know that they're aware of it is the temperance is here in their energy. That's why. They're trying. And this is like the third video where I've done it, where the last video was your soulmate has issues. Their, your soulmate isn't perfect, but they're working. You're getting tired of hearing that. I'm a cancer son. And after a while, it's like either put up or shut up. I know. Um, but... I'm telling you what they're not telling you, okay? And what they're not telling you is, is that they really do. Look, just, I mean, justice in the higher font in this Ace of Cups. They want marriage. And even if these cards were not here, let's just say the justice wasn't here, but the justice of the peace. It's honeymoon. So these are not just romantic feelings. These are, this is an individual that's having to change the way that they think and really get comfortable in their own skin cancer and get comfortable with this cup. And they have it. They just, the way that this individual that loves you, that is in love with you, views making this offer, There's something that really stresses them out about that. And I can't clarify this. I don't have time to clarify it because if I clarify for you, then I'm going to have all these other people upsetting, upset because I clarified it. But, you know, there's enough here. I mean, I can't tell you everything, but it definitely doesn't have anything to do with another person. Um, they're, they... they they want you to keep an open mind and they're trying to keep an open mind because they know that they're different. I really did pick up as soon as I saw that card that although this isn't what they're telling you, they really want you to just be still. They're working through some things and they're talking to folks about you too. They talking to folks about you. Um, this right here. This empress, um, again, um, she's coming back up here because I feel like um, when it comes down to your chemistry, you see that what they're doing in this card? You guys have beautiful chemistry when it comes down to being intimate. It's unmatched. It is absolutely unmatched. And um, it... They, they haven't been forthcoming. They haven't been forthcoming with you about it. 
some of the readings come off where I'm letting you know how they feel. Some of the readings, they come off where I'm telling you a little combination of both. And some of it of them, I'm telling you what they're going through. It just depends on the way that the cards flow. And they're aware and they're trying to temper themselves. Again, that's that Sagittarius. So I told you mutable energy is here. I have both of the cards right here, Sagittarius and Pisces. They know that them being aggressive and defensive and, and hiding is, is taking a toll. They know it. So if you want to know what they aren't telling you, they're going to propose. That's, that's the end game. Why they're taking themselves through all of this rigmarole cancer, I don't know. So congratulations is in order. Um, if you want to know what they aren't telling you, I guess it because it's hard for me to try to decipher this crazy energy. But if you want to know what they aren't telling you, they know that they have work to do and they're going to be having a conversation with you. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation and honestly let you know how they are feeling about things when they think the time is right. So we have the Ace of Cups. They're in love with you. We have the Hierophant. We have Justice. We have Honeymoon. I don't how many I mean I don't even know how many times I got to let you know that they want to marry you but they're working out and personally Listen, this King of Pentacles is on top of the let go of control issues. This guy is comfortable. He's a slow moving king. He knows what he wants and he can take his time. He can be picky. He can take his time. And that's what you're dealing with here. But I see fire up and through this. So there might be a very fiery moon, which can make your partner a little selfish. Um, but that's what they're not telling you. So if you can be patient. I'm praying for you, but if you can be patient, um, they have a honeymoon in mind. They really do. Okay? They really do want to spend the rest of their lives with you, Cancer. So, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I am done with your energy for the month. This is going to take you from today through the end of the month. Drop it like it's hot in those comments. Let me know how you're feeling about things. And I will see you in September when we do it again. Bye, Cancer.